Okay, everyone, here's what the finished meatloaf looks like. I just spread some tomato sauce and then just kind of squirted it across the top. We have Dave here who has um, my handsome hubby that has uh, agreed to do a taste test. So let's see how it tastes, Dave. Did I agree? Well, actually, I said, Dave, come here. <laughs> it's probably hot. Mm -hmm. Good? Man, it is good. All right. Now, listen, guys. Mm -hmm. I might tell a little lie every once in a while, but not him. <laughs> I'm kidding. But if he's going back in for a second bite, then we're good. We're good. Signing off, guys. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. Hello, how are you? We are cooking up southern meatloaf. And I saw a little thing on a YouTube deal today. I'm going to actually use to cut this onion up because Betty doesn't like to know there's onion in anything. So we're going to actually grate the onion. But I'm using 80-20. You can use a leaner meat if you want to have less juice, but I just use 80-20. Um, this is tomato paste. I don't know, a fourth of a cup maybe. Um, if I open a can of tomato paste and I have leftover tomato paste, I just put it in a bag and freeze it in clumps. And then I can take a clump out when, um, sure, get that bag, Big D, and show them how that looks. I can take a clump out and just defrost the clump and then you have it wasted, you know, a half a can or three quarters of a can of your, um, I have an extra set of hands here. See there, there's two more clumps of tomato paste that's frozen. And that way, <laughs> that way you're not wasting tomato paste. Because I don't want a whole can in my container. And I don't want to buy a small can because I feel like they charge you so much for that. And then we're going to, look at that mess. And then we're going to Crack this egg. I'm making a mess. Slightly toss it there. Then we're going to just grate in some onion. Now I'll put approximates in the uh, description for the recipe. This gets that onion real fine and thin, so it'll just kind of cook away without Daddy saying, oh, he sees a chunk of onion in there. And that's about a half of a medium onion. Okay. I thought that was a really good idea. And... Dave, I'm going to need another pair of gloves because I'm making a mess. Thank goodness for my hubby. Have y'all seen my handsome hubby? I'll have to show him to you when he comes around. Dave, come around so they can see my handsome hubby. There he is. Say hi. Hey. There's, hey, handsome hubby. <laughs> There's my handsome hubby. That's what he gets for sitting in here while I'm making a recipe. He has to help. Okay, then I'm going to squirt. This is squeezed garlic. I'm just squeezing in. That's maybe a half a teaspoon. Not a lot. It's strong. Okay, then I'm going to take some Lowry seasoning salt. Done. Well, I'm going to put a little more in there. Woo! I feel like I'm going to sneeze. Hang on. And then I'm gonna put some pepper. Oh, I might need a little more seasoning salt, so I'm not putting any other salt in there. Okay, and I mean, if you've got meat and you've got these ingredients, some people use breadcrumbs. I use like about uh, a cup of oatmeal. Some people use breadcrumbs. I don't like the gluten that you get in that. Oh, and um, that's it. Well, let me squirt a little bit of ketchup in there. And I 
put just a tad of ketchup, just a squirt. And I put a tad of Worcestershire sauce. And you can see my recipe changes as I go. <laughs> I wish you could see the look on my husband's face right now. Okay, now I'm gonna put these gloves back on again. And I'm just gonna mix this up. I had this meat was frozen, the tomato paste was frozen, and I just thawed it out because I told Dave I'm on a mission to work my way through our freezer, well, both of them, and um, make up everything. Because you know, if you don't turn your freezer every six months or so, you've just spent money for nothing because it's going to end up getting freezer burns it's not going to be good. So I try to turn hours every six to nine months, meaning I just go through it and cook everything up that can be cooked. But today we're having leftovers. We're having, well, we're having meatloaf and then we're having leftovers, limas and green beans that'll be mixed together. And what, well, oh, some stewed okra from New Year's. And then I'm gonna make some instant mashed potatoes. The Idahoan, they're really, I mean, mashed potatoes are pretty good if you're not making the real thing. So you see how that looks? I mean, it just kind of comes together. We're going to put it in a container. See my extra set of hands? He, he came up with a funny idea that we might do sometime soon. That was funny earlier. My husband has a bunch of great ideas. Okay. And I'm gonna bake this just like this for at 350 for probably 35 to 40 minutes. You can use a meat thermometer if you wanna absolutely make sure it's ready. Um, and then I will, after about 30 minutes, I'm gonna oh, take it out of the stove. I'm gonna put a little ketchup on it. And I'm gonna let it bake for about 10 more minutes with ketchup on it. It just forms a little film on the top, I guess you'd say. It's really nice. And then that's our meatloaf. So I'll be back and show you what it looks like.